This April Fool's Day episode of Overworked History is about the Spaghetti Tree Hoax. On April Fool's Day 1957, a special episode of BBC's Panorama aired, and it proved to be many people's first introduction to where spaghetti came from. It isn't only in Britain that spring this year has taken everyone by surprise. Here, in the Ticino, on the borders of Switzerland and Italy, the slopes overlooking Lake Lugano have already burst into flower, at least a fortnight earlier than usual. But what, you may ask, has the early and welcome arrival of bees and blossom to do with food? Well, it's simply that the past winter, one of the mildest in living memory, has had its effect in other ways as well. Most important of all, it's resulted in an exceptionally heavy spaghetti crop. The last two weeks of March are an anxious time for the spaghetti farmer. There's always the chance of a late frost, which, while not entirely ruining the crop, generally impairs the flavour and makes it difficult for him to obtain top prices in world markets. But now these dangers are over and the spaghetti harvest goes forward. Spaghetti cultivation here in Switzerland is not, of course, carried out on anything like the tremendous scale of the Italian industry. Many of you, I'm sure, will have seen pictures of the vast spaghetti plantations in the Po Valley. For the Swiss, however, it tends to be more of a family affair. Another reason why this may be a bumper year lies in the virtual disappearance of the spaghetti weevil, the tiny creature whose depredations have caused much concern in the past. After picking, the spaghetti is laid out to dry in the warm alpine sun. Many people are often puzzled by the fact that spaghetti is produced at such uniform length, but this is the result of many years of patient endeavour by plant breeders who've succeeded in producing the perfect spaghetti. And now the harvest is marked by a traditional meal. Toasts to the new crop are drunk in these pocalinos, and then the waiters enter bearing the ceremonial dish. And it is, of course, spaghetti. Picked earlier in the day, dried in the sun, and so brought fresh from garden to table at the very peak of condition. For those who love this dish, there's nothing like real homegrown spaghetti. Of course, it was all an April Fool's hoax. But at the time, spaghetti was still exotic in Britain and many had no idea where it came from. The general director of the BBC was even fooled, and he had to consult Encyclopedia Britannica about spaghetti's origin. Many called the BBC, asking where spaghetti tree could be purchased for their own guidance. A press release was created simply stating, place a sprig of spaghetti in a tin of tomato sauce and hope for the best. The segment was a brainchild of cameraman Charles de Jagu, and was actually filmed in Switzerland. The entire affair had a budget of £100, but it certainly paid off. It was later aired on Johnny Carson, and for decades, similar segments were created around the world. In 1970, NBC aired a segment about a very similar pickle farm, but the Spaghetti Tree hoax remains the most memorable of these broadcasts. The Spaghetti Tree broadcast is one of the most successful hoaxes of all time. Thank you.